Hobart and William Smith College's Theatre Department presents Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith. From the Garden Walls. I don't know, gang. I really don't think I'm gonna end up passing this exam. Maybe if I could get some crib notes or something to help me pass. <sighs> Boy, is it nippy out here. I mean, all we have to do is banish a pesky spirit. It's not hard if you know what to do. Close the portal, Jack. We can't have the mundane students see something like this. When does that fat head ever know what he's doing? <laughs> I think his head is made from the same brick as the walls. But come on, let's go get some dinner. All right, you crumb. <sighs> well, it's true. How do you do it, Margot? You sure are an ace when it comes to this sort of thing. It's simple, really. In addition to having all of the necessary components to banishing the spirit, you just have to maintain a confident air about you. You have to make sure the spirit actually listens to you because they can be stubborn as hell. Oh, I'm good at the confidence part. Just everything else about the banishing? How do you even use the materials? I always goof it up. I have trouble with both, honestly. It's all gobbledygook. Well, we can practice. I brought my supplies with me. Never leave home without them. Uh, let's see here. Salt, iron, crucifix, holy water. Wait, why do we need this? Marco, why do we need holy water? Because, Ruth, demons can be considered malevolent spirits. Don't forget what's happening in Europe. That much hatred and death is bound to stir up the supernatural world. Uh-huh. You know what's happening there? The, the war and all? I just wouldn't be surprised if all that bad mojo made its way over here. I just... I've been having this feeling lately that something crummy is coming. I just don't know what. What do you mean, Ruth? Has your spirit been- Yes, Wolfred has been talking with me again. He's not specific, but he's been telling me to watch out. We should all watch out. Why did you wait to tell us this? Pass the buck on to somebody else, will ya? The lovely geezer finally gave me enough info this afternoon while I was eating my pasta. So excuse me for not telling you both sooner. <sighs> As usual, the cards haven't been telling me anything. Anyways, seems he picks the absolute worst times to talk with you. Regardless, did he give you a time frame? What should we look out for? How many? No. The spirits are horrible in that regard. It's a pain in the neck. Half the time, they're just whistling Dixie. <sighs> Wait, do you hear that? The wind stopped, and it's strangely quiet. I can hear my own heartbeat. Jeepers! Oh wait, is that coming from... The wall? Yes, it's a spirit stone. We diviners use them to communicate across large distances. Kinda like a convenient party line. But who would need to contact us right now? Hello? Hi, uh, Ruth. We have a bit of a problem. I've got word that a triad of demons are the way to your location. You should probably hunker down and prepare. Alright. Thanks, Henry. We'll be sure to. Uh, fellas? Remember how I said I had that feeling something bad was coming our way? Let me guess. You were right. Of course I was right. I'm always right. Shh. Enough of the grandstanding. Don't you feel it? The energy shifted. It feels darker. Heavier. The devil card. Margo, demon entities. What can you tell me about them? Demons? Are you sure? <sighs> demons. Supernatural beings usually associated with evil. They are said to be the twisted souls of the damned. They carry a dark, veiling energy about them that is said to feel heavy and quite draining to those who are sensitive to energy fields. They travel in packs of three and come during times when the horsemen of death and the war are nigh. Of course now, Wolfrid decides to mention these are demons. Alright, well, should we fight them? On second thought, I don't think we have a choice. Look! We're gonna need to use that kit now. It's our best bet against them. To the center of the gardens. I'm gonna make a salt circle for us to sit in. And then we're gonna banish these demons, okay? 
Wolfred says they're close by. We're going to have to act fast. Make sure you anoint yourselves with holy water. Have a crucifix displayed out in front of you. All right. As long as we stick together, we can get through this. Power of three, remember? Yes. Join hands. And repeat after me. We're gonna be poop, but this might work. By the power of three, we show our resolve to thee. By the power of three, we show our resolve to thee. Take thine malice to Tartarus once more. For the sanctity of souls we do implore. We fill this place with light and love, that we may be graced by the morning dove. Of the corrupted souls that were lost, to the young girl abyss they were tossed. From dust, From dust we once we came, and to dust we shall return. The evil here is now set to burn! Now we're cooking with gas! Are they gone? For now, but they will be back. How, how long until they come back? Wolfred says to tell the others. It's not soon, I don't think. But it will be a problem again, and others should know. All right. We'll make sure that the others know. Hopefully future students will be able to fight them off then. Perhaps even banish them for good. That's not always so easy. You can't always get rid of demons. They'll always find a way to return. But for now, we're safe. Let's head back. Right. Right. You know, they could probably count this as our exam instead. <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural Saunter, The Spirits of William Smith, is produced by Hobart and William Smith College's Theatre Department. From the Garden Walls was written by Alex Kopkak and James Sarver. Featuring Anthony Bray as Jack, Samari Brown as Margot, Elia Roberts as Ruth, and Emmanuel Castillo-Gonzalez as Henry. Directed by Chris Woodworth. Music by Ed Hallberg. Sound design by Kelly Walker, with assistance from Kyle Mast and Kels Veter. Delve deeper into the mysteries of Geneva's College of the Veil at supernaturalsaunter.com. for listening.